Good evening. I'm here with Mr. Robert Naylor, who's receiving the Lifetime Achievement Award. Good evening, Mr. Naylor. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, thank you. Well, tonight is a fabulous night for you. It I mean, is. it is. I'm very happy to be here, and I'm thrilled. I'm really thrilled to be honored tonight. I read a lot about you in terms of your mentorship. Can you share with the audience a little bit about how you mentor so many diverse cultures and just across the country? Well, I, I, a part of it, it is who I am, I, and I think all of us have to be that way. I, it, you know, I come from a background of people who believe in giving back to the community and who believe in service and who believe in commitment, and it's just a part of that, and it feels very natural to me, and I've benefited from a lot of mentors, people who cared about my development, about where I was going, about what I was doing, about whether I was making the right choices, and just about seeing that I was meeting the right people and on the right paths. And, and I just feel an obligation to give some of that back to, to the communities as well. Can you talk a little bit about your background? How long have you been in this business? Oh, I, I, well, I, I like to say I started my journalism career when I was in junior high school. Uh, professionally, I started in 1978, um, and, um, and, and I've been a journalist ever since, doing various things, first as a writer and reporter, and then an editor, and then moving up in, into other roles in the, in the news business. But I've been a journalist for a long time. I've seen a lot of changes in the media. I came into uh, the business at the, at the time when the, the the new technology at the time was was computers. Right. You know, we've come a long way since then. But uh, but uh, it's 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 a great business that I still I think still has a great future, even though we're, we're having some troubles now. But uh, but uh, it's it's I think it's it's a business that really is beneficial to our culture and to the American way of life. Now you say since you were a young person, approximately 14 years of age, what happened there then for you? What triggered you? Well, I, I, I think the first thing about being a journalist is having a natural curiosity about things. You have to care about what goes on in the world and want to know about it. And you have to want to tell stories, and, and I'm a storyteller as much as anything. Um, and I like to write, you know, I, I, I had two things that I loved to do when I was growing up. I, I, was, I, I played sports, I played football, I loved, I should, I should say three things. I loved football, I played football, I, I played the piano and I loved the piano, which actually was my first choice as a career, and, and I loved to write. And, um, and I decided to write because I decided I wasn't going to be, have the kind of career as a pianist that I thought I wanted to have, so, uh, so here I am. Well, thank you for sharing a, a moment with us. Thank you for, for talking to me. And congratulations. Thank you.